National Horticultural Research Institute (NIHORT) was established in 1975 as Fruits and Vegetable Research and Demonstration Center through the assistance of United Nations Development Program in conjunction with Food and Agricultural Organization (FAO). NIHORT acquired the status of a national institute in June 1976. The institute's headquarters is situated on 350 hectares of land at Jericho Reservation Area, Idishin, Ibadan, southwestern Nigeria. To give a national outlook, the institute has two substations located in Mbato Okigwe in Imo State and the other at Bagoda, Kano State. The National Horticultural Research Institute is charged with the mandate to research into the genetic improvement and value addition of its mandate crops, which include okra, tomato, mango, orange, banana, among others. Yeah, the institute was created in 1975 and uh, has the status of uh, National Institute by 1976. The mandate of the institute is to uh, conduct research into genetic improvement, production, processing, storage, utilization of uh, horticultural products for both uh, export and economic purpose. The National Horticultural Research Institute, NIHOT, has mandate for genetic improvement to conduct research into genetic improvement, uh, production, processing, marketing and utilization of uh, fruits, vegetables, ornamental plants, spices, of uh, economic importance, of medicinal, nutritional and economic importance uh, to the country. To actualize these mandates, the National Horticultural Research Institute has seven research programs which include Citrus Research Program, Fruits Research Program, Spices Research Program, Vegetable Research Program, Farming Systems Research Program, Product Development Program, and Extension Research Program. The strength of a research institute largely lies on its breeder's ability to improve the genetics of its mandate crops. NIHORT has seasoned professional breeders who have made significant effort in improving the genetics of its mandate crops. Genetic improvement starts at the breeding stage. I work on tomato, I work on okra, plantain, and purple for their improvements. Here is the breeding nursery for our tomato and okra. Here in these two screen houses, we have some advanced breeding lines of tomato being evaluated for different traits that are farmer preferred. Over the years, the National Horticultural Research Institute has developed technologies on its mandate crops in the area of improved and high-yielding seeds of tomatoes, oranges, banana, okra, among others. We also have developed uh, protocols and um, uh, methods for rapid multiplication techniques for some of these uh, horticultural crops. For instance, uh, we have developed uh, technologies that is able to shorten the gestation period of uh, tree crops like citrus. Uh, you know, when our farmers grow citrus uh, from seed, they, they would have to wait for between 8 to 15 years before they can harvest. But from budded plants, they don't need to wait more than two and a half years. Aside the genetic improvement of its mandate crops, NIHOT has made breakthroughs in the area of pets and disease control. One of such breakthroughs is a technology developed by the Institute to control the menace of Tutal Asoluta, which is a disease that affects tomatoes and other crops. This particular research work came as a result of the outbreak of Tutal Asoluta that the people call tomato Ebola that happened 2015 that ravaged so many tomato farms in the north. We, it was a very, long, a very big uh, loss. And what we, could, what we could do was that to come in, the FAO came to Minister Nihot and said, we want to work with you. How can we help these farmers? OK. And we, we the entomologists, and some other uh, set of scientists in the institute, ably led by Dr. Abiola Oke, a seasoned entomologist, we were able to develop this. We came, so it's a plant material 
that we bring, bring brought together different plant, plant materials and we're able to use it to control insect pests on the field. So it's a big breakthrough. Although maize is not a mandate crop of the Institute, but its breakthrough in technology has been proven to be effective in containing the fall armyworm disease of maize and other related crops. The advantages of this technology over other pesticides are enormous. The food that are being produced with this particular uh, product now are safe for human consumption. It is, it is cheaper compared to the synthetic insecticide. You can, they have very short uh, time of harvesting, even when you apply this. Unlike the synthetic that you, ha you apply this particular product, you wait for seven days before you could pick up. This is not like that. You, ha you apply today, by tomorrow you can, you can harvest it. Nyhart has also made a lot of researches into production of mushrooms. Mushroom is a fleshy, spore-bearing, fruiting body of fungus typically produced above ground, on soil, dead wood, sawdust, or its other food source like banana leaves, among others. Nyhart over the years has made research into nine varieties of mushrooms, which include two indigenous and seven exotic varieties. They don't get bad. But what is the success story of Nyhart on mushroom research and production? The success story about this is that one, we have been able to produce a mushroom under this very, very low, you can see the technology that the, the, I mean, under this very low cost uh, technology. And we have trained several farmers, and some of them, they have their products all over the place. Some are producing fresh mushrooms and selling in their immediate environment. Some are drying the mushrooms and packaging them. Some have even registered with NAVDAC. You know, they have their mushroom, uh, mushroom dried and packaged in, in, a, in beautiful package with the NAVDAC reg uh, reg I mean, registration, and they are being sold in supermarkets. Mushroom is used as food spices and also for medicinal purposes. There are opportunities in the mushroom value chain, be it in production or marketing. Opportunities are bound in mushroom value chain. As a mushroom farmer, you can decide to produce the mushroom seed, that is the spawn, the planting material of the mushroom. You can decide to produce the fresh mushroom or you go into processing of the mushroom by adding by going to value addition, either to, to make them into thin uh, canned mushrooms, that is canning the fresh mushrooms, or you go into drying ones, or you, maybe you add them with some other, um, with some other, you can use it to make condiments. Maybe you add some other spices, which you have the product development department or uh, development uh, program in Nye Hot here. They are doing a lot of work as by that. It can be used as snacks. It can be grilled, just like suya and some other things, spiced up, and then eaten, you know, after grilling. It can be fried, then it can be added to vegetables. Mushroom farming is cheap, but profitable. And any individual educated or unlettered can start mushroom farming with ease. The way things are in Nigeria, with 100,000, you can, you can do it. All you need to do, if you have even if you have all these um, iron pots, the kokori, you know, if you have them, you can use it to start. Then with that, you can graduate to using oil drum. Then you can graduate to probably fabricating your own uh, processing, maybe your own autoclave, and maybe a bigger one that will be able to accommodate whatever level you want to go. The National Horticultural Research Institute is working in collaboration with African Union for Technological Advancement of its mandate crops. In all, I will give the credit to African Union Project that gave this facility to be able to start especially the breeding program here in Nihot here. So the African Union Project started in the year 2018 and uh, with that, in consortium with the West Africa Center for Crop Improvement, which is the university in the, in the University of Ghana, where I finished my PhD. So the, the grant was given for us to start this breeding program. And then coming back home, we started, we put together all the different lines of tomato, and then we have 
um, information from our farmers and the information reaching us about the biotic stresses, stresses like um, diseases and pests that affect and limit production of tomato. And that is why in conjunction with also the Federal Ministry of Agri, um, Federal Government putting in money into the institution, that is why we are putting all this facility together to begin that breeding program. And for now, I can tell you categorically that we have advanced and we are at the level of going to our um, the segregating population that we have at the level of like F5. In breeding, when you say you have reached fifth filial generation, that means you are almost having uniform material that can now go on multi location trial. Nigeria spends a lot on importation of vegetable seeds, which is a drain on the nation's economy. However, with concerted effort of African Union and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, there is high hope that upon release of the varieties, the country will attain self-sufficiency in vegetable seeds and that will stop further importation. When we test this across different regions and locations, then we release the improved tomato varieties locally bred in Nigeria for Nigerian farmers. You know, so, uh, and secondly, we'll be able to reduce the importation of seeds because where, by the time these materials are coming from within the Nigerian eco ecology for Nigerian farmers, and then we are able to also produce the seeds of these improved varieties, we are going to reduce the importation of seeds. Nyhart is also working in collaboration with the Agricultural Development Program, Farmers Association, traditional rulers, and the media to facilitate technological transfer to the end users. We have channels through which we reach out to uh, stakeholders. We have sponsored radio programs. We have, uh, we have occasionally television programs that we appear in, but we have uh, uh, direct contact and linkage with farmers into our adopted village. Adopt, we have adopted villages wherein we just select a group of farmers that we test our technologies with them. We have network with ADPs. The Institute also from time to time organizes workshop for farmers, processors and other stakeholders in order to provide training on the available technologies developed by the Institute. The group of farmers who have received those training are doing well in their farming and processing activities. They are also training others along the value chain. My, one of our mentees, if you like, send a flyer that they want to train other group of uh, farmers. It's, 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 it's as a result of because they have received training from us and they want to go and train others. And they, from that training, they also charge for, uh, uh, what is it, uh, fee. It's okay. Because we are talking about job creation, wealth creation, talking about uh, uh, capacity building across the divide and across uh, the country. National Horticultural Research Institute maintains an open door policy to support any farmer seeking assistance to increase productivity, improve livelihood, and food sufficiency. I want farmers to also try as much as possible to embrace the use of organic, uh, the synthetic, uh, the biopesticide. It's going to, because as we are cultivating our farms, we must also put in, in uh, cognizance the people that are going to feed on this particular product. They should be able to feed on quality food, food that are free of heavy metals, that because most of these heavy metals are traced to some of these diseases that, are, that human beings are being uh, exposed to now. So by the time they use some of these products, it's going to be safe. Everybody is so comfortable taking products from those areas because the bulk of the tomato, vegetables we eat are from the northern part for them to be sincere to ourselves. So they need to be able to embrace this, work with it, and produce very good uh, fruits with bumper harvest. Fruits and vegetables remain very important in food and nutrition security, and NIHOT promises to remain committed to the agricultural transformation agenda of the federal government. NIHOT is uh, strategic to this uh, mission of the federal government and is a critical stakeholder in that. I say this because NIHOT is both for horticulture, value chain, its processing, 
which has to do with both our fruit and vegetables. And as you know, the fruit component is for its living purpose as well as the vegetable. Hardly there's no any food in this country today you're going to consume, you're not talking about vegetables. And if you look at it, vegetable is a critical component of the diet of all Nigeria across all the structure of living or economic status of citizens of the country. So the institute is playing a significant role in the nation of food security of the country. When you do, you, you, can, you can come out, when you are doing your mushroom, you can come out in two forms. Either you are selling it in wet form or you are selling it in dry form. When you, you put it, you use your dryer, you dry properly, package it, put your label, and you are good to go because when you do that, it, that's value addition. And it gives you, it, you sell it more than what you are supposed to sell it at in fresh form. You know? So um, from what you are imputing and from what you are going to be getting, you realize that minimum of, I'm just trying to flatter it, let me say 80%, but you get more than that. I would say that there's a lot of opportunity in agribusiness. Anybody, you, you find, you can decide that, okay, I'm just going to put, buy three clothes for the next three months. I'm going to be wearing those three clothes. But you can't decide that it's just, you, you can't decide you won't eat. So everybody has to eat. And that's why there are so many opportunities in agribusiness. As a youth, once you are passionate and then you are determined and then you seek for knowledge, you keep growing, you are committed to it. I bet you with you, you're going to make it an agribusiness. Just be committed and then look out for the necessary skills.